Hey, this is Eddie from Long Island Boaters Club here with another edition of On Board. Today we're going to discuss how to change your outdrive fluid in Bravo 3s. I have a Rinka. So what we're going to need is some simple tools to do that. One of them is going to be a flat screwdriver. This is to take the bottom drain out and the vent plug out from the top of the unit. If you are having trouble getting it out, you may need a slap hammer and a hammer. And this you just tap on the bottom and it will loosen it up for you and then you continue the rest of the way with the screwdriver. Other things that you're going to need is going to be a drain bucket to catch the cost of fluid and then some gear oil. Now with me, I'm using Merck Gear Lube. This is recommended for my drive. I would say check your owner's manual, check a dealer to see what your unit calls for. You're also going to need this special pump. And this will be the only special tool you need. You can get this at West Marine. It screws onto the bottom drain and then it will pump the fluid up to the vent. Okay, so now let's take a walk over to the back of the unit and let's see how this is done. And to do this, on the bottom of the engine over here, there's a drain plug over there. And if you look up here, if you can hit that shot, there's a top drain. Now this is actually a vent for you, and this is actually a drain. So by loosening up this with a screwdriver, the fluid will continue to come out. But once the vent's open, it will come out even faster. If you are having trouble getting this bolt out, there is a slap hammer you can purchase. And you put it on here and simply by hitting it with the hammer it's going to loosen it up and give you more torque to get it off. Now by loosening up the bottom over here just like that come off. there is a little seal. That seal is very important. It goes on the plug and that keeps the fluid inside so nothing leaks out. So you're going to need that. As the fluid is dripping out over here you're going to loosen the top and take that out as well. And once again, this is the vent for when you're filling it, you're also going to see the fluid come out of there and that's when you know it's full. On the Merc Cruisers, on the Bravo 3's, there is a reservoir tank up on top and that throughout the season has an alarm in it and that will also show you when the fluid's low and that will keep the fluid inside the drive as well. So, fluid's coming out of here, it's draining over here. This is going to take a little time, it's a thick oil. So we're going to leave this like this until we get all the oil totally out. Okay, we brought you up to the engine compartment where my Merc Cruisers are to show you the reservoir for the outdrive, which contains the gear oil for the outdrives. And uh, what we did over here is I put a little tweezer on the line to stop the fluid from coming out from the top to save the fluid inside of here. This is an expensive fluid. It's about $17, $18 quart. So I do that. If you'd like to, you could. You don't have to. Uh, it also has an alarm system on here, so throughout the season, if you do get a beep inside, sound inside the compartment, it will indicate that the fluid is low, and you can come and replace that over there. Okay, we're just about done with all the gear oil coming out of the drive. So what we're going to do is this special tool we have is a pump. You can get this at any uh, marine supply store like West Marine. And uh, you hook it up to the can. It just screws onto the top. And there's a long tube that goes down into the can. And once you screw this into the top of the oil can, you take this other end and you put it inside the bottom plug drain hole. It screws in. Okay, once you're all the way tight, now you have to pump the fluid up. Once the fluid goes throughout the whole out drive and comes all the way up to the top, it's going to come out the top plug. Once it comes out of the top plug, then you know you're full. You put the top plug in and then you continue to put the bottom plug in. Now this process is going to take a little time you got to pump it. There is an oil gauge on the side of it. It's going to take about two and a quarter, two and a half quarts of blue oil. So the process is just pumping like this. I'm going to do this and you'll be back in like 20 minutes when I get this stuff in because it takes about that long. <laughs> I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, I just pumped the first quart in. So now I have to pump the second quart in. So what I have to do is loosen it up, take the cap off, there is usually a foil on top. I peeled it off already. And then you got to switch it into the second quart gear or lube. Once you get it in there, screw it on once again. This stuff's real slippery, really oily. So I always have a rag to help me out. And then just start pumping it in again. Once again, get your little gauge there. I'm just going to go all the way down. Now you should watch the top until the gear oil comes out. Should start to come out soon. 
When we start to get on that third chord, it should be coming out. See it coming out? Pump it a little more. There's the gear oil. You just filled the out drives from the bottom up. Take the plug. Just make sure, stress that again, the seal's in there. If it's not in the top one, it'll suck water in or air. If it's not in the bottom one, it's going to lose the gear oil and you'll wipe out your drives. With the bottom one, you unscrew this. Try to do it as fast as you can. It's a good idea to check the reservoir when you're done with this step after you release the clamp that you have on there if you decide to go with the clamp. And of course every time you go on the boat they do recommend you check all the gear oil and the levels of everything to make sure everything's safe before you take them out. You do have a warning system that will tell you when it is low but you want to make sure that the fluid is in your out drives. If it's not, you're going to blow your out drive. It's going to cost you a lot of money to repair it. If it's in the season, it's going to cost you money to get the boat out. So doing the gear oil is really going to keep your out drives healthy and keep everything cleaned and lubed properly. Okay, we just completed changing the gear oil. So if you do have two units like I do, you just repeat the process again and you'll be all caught up and everything will be ready for the season. This is another edition of On Board. Once again, my name's Eddie. I'll see you next time.